Thank you, Mr. Congratulations uh, Mr. to the rapporteur for this comprehensive report by highlighting the issue of uh, physical and psychological violence against persons and communities because of their religion. Freedom of conscience and of religion uh, defended by international conventions and the national legislations, but the guarantors are the member states. I agree with the reporter, the guarantee of uh, religious freedom means certainly an obligation for the member states to avoid any kind of discrimination in, the field, uh, in this field and to combat and prevent violent uh, attacks and bring justice to the perpetrators. It's a global problem, but Europe must improve as well. Let me present you some typical cases of violence, of discrimination against religious communities. Uh, that is combined uh, with ethnic intolerance as well. Religious communities of Hungarians living in Carpat Basin, out of the borders of Hungary, must face this kind of violence and discrimination as well. As a consequence of the unjust peace treaties, three million Hungarians must live out of the borders of Hungary and deprived from the right of determination. After the treaties, oppressive actions were initiated against them that affected their religious life. Assets of churches linked to Hungarians were largely confiscated during the communism. Romania now uh, celebrating the 20th anniversary of its accession to the COE. Uh, there lived two million Hungarians. In opinion 176, uh, 1993, the Parliamentary Assembly called upon Romanian government to return all property to churches, notwithstanding up till now the return of all confiscated uh, properties is not yet fulfilled. Majority of the claims still unsolved, only 3% of confiscated assets uh, were returned in nature. Romania was condemned many times by the European Court of Human Rights. It's high time for Romania to fulfill the obligation to return church properties uh, without any delay. So in Serbia, where uh, live uh, 300,000 uh, Hungarians uh, would like to be the member of EU as well, there are cases when Roman Catholics Hungarians were attacked uh, in the night of Christmas uh, after participating in the Midnight Mass. Roman Catholic churches and cemeteries are targeted by graffitis uh, writing deaths to Hungarians and uh, demolitions. Hungarian speaking, speaker believers are often attacked. Typically, the perpetrators are not brought to justice. In Ukraine, in Carpat region, a few weeks ago, a group of young Hungarians were attacked by Ukrainian nationalists, uh, the members of Svoboda, and intimidated uh, uh, and attacked them. Uh, national symbols were teared off and uh, they were verbally and physically attacked. No effective actions is known by the Ukrainian state. Almost the same violent, at the same time, violent attack was performed against religious Hungarians who took part in a national commemoration uh, in the region where Hungary lives in Ukraine. The, so that's the reason why the uh, Council of Europe must enforce the member states to be the real guarantors of regional, uh, religious freedom. Thank you for it.